Jupiter Media presents Avasar Telecasting Global Opportunity. Hello and Namaste. Welcome to Avasar program. We are trying to give you the real ground situation of studying India program today. Especially today, we have very special guest from Charshat University, Gujarat. He is none other than Devagan Joshi, who is working as a road star there in Charshat University. Let's welcome Mr. Joshi. Mr. Joshi, you are welcome on our show. Thank you very much. Thank you. Okay. It's my Special, we are quite happy to having you with this session that we are able to give a real ground situation about Gujarat and Charshat University. Uh, so, first of all, would you please give some information about uh, uh, present scenario, how pandemic is going on there and how international <laughs> students are surviving there? Uh, see, uh, I will give you the scenario of our state, Gujarat state and India also. Uh, what has happened is that the pandemic is, uh, uh, I would say, moderately serious. Uh, serious part is because uh, it is slowly spreading in the community. But I say it is moderately fine is because now the survival rates have increased like anything. So we have now the survival rates of more than 90%. That is because of the early stage detection. If I talk of uh, our location, Charuskat, it is in central part of Gujarat and a rural location. So as far as our location, there is no problem at all. Okay. So especially uh, you have already spent uh, decades in the education sector. What role yes. are you playing to develop the education system of Charusad University? See, we Charusad University, like uh, it is an unaided university or we call it a self-financed university. So normally what happens that when parents and students hear this self-financed word, they get little fear. That self-finance uh, means they must be taking a lot of money and all that. But we are a public charitable trust and we are working with the mission of social service. We are trying to uh, take the help of the society, our donors, our non-resident Indians who are in US and UK to get the donation from that. And then we are trying to put in affordable education to everybody. So uh, this is one part of it. Second part is that uh, Charuset University is a uh, NAC accredited E grade university. So, myself and all our faculty members are constantly striving to bring in the quality part to the education. Okay, especially how Charuset University is providing quality education in there in Gujarat. Uh, see, uh, any university has two, three functions. One function is education, second function is research, and the third function is social contribution. But for us, all our center of activity is our student. So when we take uh, the quality education, we mean that how are we trying ourselves best to bring uh, holistic development uh, to the students. So, uh, whatever processes are there in our education, it may be curriculum design, it may be examination, it may be teaching. Uh, we are trying constantly trying to bring quality to that. In fact, that is the reason that Charasat University has been ranking uh, in the top National Institute of Ranking framework. Uh, for an example, our uh, Science Institute uh, is uh, amongst the top uh, institutes in Gujarat state and amongst top 27 in all over India. So we are constantly trying and uh, you may be aware that in India there are a lot of quality systems. So one is NEC which is by UGC, then there is NBA National Board of Recognition uh, which is accrediting the engineering programs. Then there is a NABL which accredits the, gives the quality mark to the laboratories. Then there is NABH which is giving quality mark to the hospital. So I take pride in letting you know that Charuset, all these quality marks uh, are obtained by Charuset, other than the state ranking uh, framework. Exactly. Are Especially there are numbers of university in Gujarat. Especially talking yes. about Gujarat territory, how you differ this yes. university is best and how this university exactly helping to student to make their brighter future. See, we believe that uh, 
education uh, is not that you go in the classroom and go chalk and duster, teacher doing that. So we are a research-based teaching university. It means that uh, all our teachers are involved in research, so they are always constantly updating themselves to the new knowledge, and then they bring all those things to the classroom. So you'll be surprised that we have uh, 90 percent of our students, uh, our teachers either PhD or pursuing PhD. The rest 10 percent are just introduced so they will be doing that. So having said this, uh, uh, this is one differentiating factor that our teachers are constantly involved in research and bringing in that research to the classroom. Now this is possible only if the teachers get the support for it. It is possible only if university is not interested in making money but giving back to the students. Second part, as I say, that we believe in holistic development of the students. So there are some unique uh, courses which we have launched, which are nowhere in universities in Gujarat. And I have uh, maybe confidence that they are nowhere in across the universities in India also. For example, we have a course called Creativity, Innovation and Problem Solving. It is a two credit course, which is offered by a professor in the United States. Uh, that professor Probably in Nepal, you may be having people having the soft lens in the eyes. You know that soft lens? Yeah. The soft lens were invented. The soft lens were invented by that professor. Now he has more than 100 patents. Now he is giving this course to the students. So we believe that creativity and innovation, if it is there in the students, wherever they go in whichever country, maybe in Nepal, it may be in world over, they will be able to handle uh, the problems. Second is that probably you may be knowing that in engineering or pharmacy, the education is basically to the professional subjects only. But we also introduce liberal arts and humanities. So mm -hmm. we want to make uh, students as a good pharmacist, as a good engineers. But over and above that, we also want to make them a good human being, a good citizen. So these liberal arts, and humanities courses are across all our faculties, even our nursing students uh, study this course. And those include various foreign languages, uh, maybe painting, music, so all these things. So that, that develops the students uh, holistically. And the third very differentiating factor is our comprehensive uh, student uh, care system. So for every 20 students, we have a teacher who is a local parent to that uh, student. So that student may be having any academic problem, he or she may be having any social problem, he or she may be having health problem. Nowadays, uh, students are also having mental problems because their parents are working with the parents. Yeah. So we have a consultant psychologist, we have a three-tire system where teacher counsels, if there is a problem, then the psychologist counsels. If there is a problem, then at the third level, there is a medical intervention. So this three-tire uh, holistic care, I think it is only in our level. So okay. students are our center. Okay, great. So especially you have already elaborated that uh, the teaching paradigm is really beautiful so that a student can flourish their future there inside the Sarasvati University. In this case, to provide that sort of the abundant quality, what sort of the international tie-up and global uh, connection are there uh, with uh, Charleston University? See, we have uh, tie-ups. Uh, first of all, we have tie-up with uh, universities uh, and institutes which are across the globe. So we we believe that our uh, uh, ancient civilization values like hospitality. Vasudeva Kutumbakam, these all should be maintained. So we don't look only to the Western countries like US and UK. So we have uh, tie-ups, of course, with US, Canada, UK, uh, Australian University, um, European University. Uh, but we also have tie-up with uh, university, maybe in Vietnam, maybe in Malaysia, get a uh, full-fledged uh, exposure. So this is one part of this. So there is a program of student exchange also where we send our students to go in different parts of the world. They may go to Turkey also. They will be going to Brazil also. So we normally feel that USA is the world. So it is not like that. So this is one part of it. 
Second part for global parties that we have a system called endowment chairs. So under endowment chairs, we invite uh, professors from different countries to stay in the campus to interact with the students. So students start uh, we are aware about uh, the global trends which uh, they may have. So these are some of the initiatives which we align our students whosoever. I mean, they may be any students in the charos, but they are aligned with the global uh, trends. Okay, especially uh, present scenario, there are traditional courses and modern courses and modern courses are trying to read the industry need and trying to uh, develop that sort of the human resource for industry. In fact, how Charusat is driving its uh, like strategy uh, regarding the industry focused courses. So again, there are uh, multiple approaches for that. First of all, uh, whenever the company's people come to take our students for job placements. We don't give the company people only the room to me, you take this room and then you take the recruitment and go away. We first talk with them and we try to find out me, what is your requirement, why do you want to have this. Once they finish their recruitment, then also we have a feedback, their feedback. Maybe if you have selected 100 out of 200, why did you not select 100? What was the missing in our students? So this is uh, we closely contact with them. Second is that our different bodies like academic councils, board of studies, uh, these all uh, bodies have lot of industrialists on board. So they are part of our decision making system. They are part of our pedagogy system. Third is uniquely we have a, a cell called uh, University Industrial Interaction Cell. So this cell routinely invites the industrialists to interact with the students. It cell also facilitates the students to go to the industry. And the cell also facilitates the teachers to go to the industry. A fourth part is that every teacher in summer have to go about one week to 10 days of industrial training. Mm -hmm. So we are the only university who are sending the teachers to the industry for training. So thereby the teachers know that what is demanded in the industry. So these are some of the initiatives which we take to make all everything industry ready or maybe taking the society requirements into our curriculum. Okay, especially during my journey program, I have already visited more than 200 universities throughout the world. Nepali students are too much sound and they are hard worker as well. In this case, what is your working experience or what is your experience with Nepali students, how they are doing in Charushat University? Uh, see, let me tell you that we have had a very good experience of Nepali students. Uh, first of all, we have found them uh, very hardworking, uh, number one. Number two, they are very sincere in the class. So whenever they are attending the class, we have found them very sincere. Uh, number three, that even if they are uh, living away, so much away from their homeland, away from their parents, we have not found them complaining. Otherwise, what happens that student either they feel homesick, they constantly want support. So probably it is there in the midti of Nepal that all the students are more like uh, brave students. So they don't get... Uh, what you can say, bogged down by the troubles which they may face. And they are very adaptive. So they easily get adjusted to the class, though they may be facing different culture, but they are very adaptive. A small problem which we have found out is this, that language becomes a little bit problem because uh, many of the students may not be coming from English media. Uh, or if they are coming from English medium, their accent and our accent may be differing. But that problem is a temporary one. So it is not the problem of the students, but it is a general adjustment problem. And we very closely work with them and then we help them out to take it out of them. But that is what, but generally, I mean, we have a very good experience of uh, Nepali students. Okay, especially those students who are really hard worker and uh, deserving students, do Charasat University offer scholarship for uh, that sort of uh, deserving students? Yes, we do uh, give scholarships to uh, deserving students based on their percentage in the 12th standard or LGBT program. Uh, 
अदर देन दैट आचार्य साहब ऐसा है सुनील सर कि एज आई सेड वी आर सोशली ओरिएंटेड यूनिवर्सिटी वी आर नॉट हियर फॉर मेकिंग मनी लाइक अनदर वी आर नॉट इंटू बिजनेस यूल बी सरप्राइज टू नो दैट अवर ट्रस्ट हैज मोर देन टू थाउजेंड मेंबर्स इट इज नॉट अ फोर फाइव पीपल ट्रस्ट हु इज डूइंग अ बिजनेस ऑनेस्टी इंटेग्रिटी इज अवर वैल्यू सिस्टम so because of that what happens that who say our student comes to us they become our children so if a parent is there how do they take care of their children whatever difficulty they have then the parent always take care rather than finding fault with them so for an instance uh, god forbid it may not happen but for an instance some student uh, faces some family problems once taking admission so we ensure that because of money problem because of family problem is or education should not stop so we give this type of financial aids also mm-hmm. so uh, once they are inside they are our children then we don't look into the money part or that part of it we only look into that they have to be sincere in studies and they have to be uh, scoring good marks in the studies that's it other than okay. that we take whole care of them. okay so especially present scenario the like there there is also like that sort of the pandemic is running and even here in nepali university colleges and schools are running online classes i'm trying to uh, uh, make that sort of the sub- supplementary of regular classes in this case how charushat university is conducting its online class and uh, what is your like uh, expectation that uh, uh, from uh, especially for the physical presence how long it will take to uh, be nepali student here right now uh, we have this whole semester as online because government is not allowing uh, uh, the presence of the student at the campus so we have uh, taken a scientific approach first of all that we were knowing that this online is going to come so since january february we had been training our teachers to offer online programs number one number two uh, online has to have lot of creative and uh, uh, interactive content otherwise students will lose their interest so that our teachers have been working hard to uh, do that uh, number three is that uh, we have uh, several softwares identified by a team of teachers so we conduct our programs only on those uh, softwares so there is a standard software available a uh, number 4 is the student may face internet connectivity issues or they may have uh, some device issues so that mechanisms also we have taken care that the students who may have a connect suppose my lecture is going on and some student is not getting connectivity so we ensure that that student gets that lecture eventually and if he or she has some trouble then the teacher is always available one on one to solve that uh, their queries so we have a comprehensive online system rather than relaying the lectures uh, online okay. one more creative is that one more creativity part is that uh, for example engineering requires practical knowledge mm-hmm. uh, so we have a lot of virtual labs they are sitting in their computer also student can take that feeling of the practical exposure so you want to give the best to the students with the help of the technology they should not suffer because of this pandemic so this is our concern okay great so especially those students and parents who are really interested to uh, like enroll on charshat university because now the pandemic is running after this how they can uh easily get in touch with charshat university so how you pass your message to the prospective student and parents there is a dedicated page on our website uh i welcome all the students they may if they want to enroll right now we have a special program called first year engineering experience first year pharmacy and experience program which is free so somebody wants to go for pharmacy but they don't know what is there in the pharmacy they can log in and uh interact with our teachers uh as a side talk sunil bhai i will let you know that how much care we take for example our pharmacy faculty change their syllabi for uh, nepal uh, nepali students because we had a meeting with uh, pharmacy council from nepal they visited us and they said that we are kitna 
change karo, then our students will get the benefit of it. So we changed it. So this type of care, take care uh, we are taking, the care we are taking. Okay. So my uh, appeal to all students and parents will be that you go to our website, log into our uh, uh, first year online program going on, take the test of our programs. And if you have any difficulty, please contact us. We will be very happy for a one-on-one -on -one meeting in a group meeting. But we always want that you take informed uh, decision, especially parents, you are uh, going to send uh, children who are part of your heart. So we are like uh, parents to your children. So don't hesitate. You can talk with them, even slightest of uh, queries you may have, uh, like food or clothing or whatever. You ask us and we'll be happy to help them out and we will take extreme care of them. Okay. Thank you so much, Mr. Devagan Joshi, but especially uh, our parents and students got a uh, real gun situation and depth knowledge about Charleston University. I believe that and we will like continuously doing this type of the series and we'll update more about the Charleston University in coming future. Mr. Joshi, thank you so much for your valuable time and thoughts. Thank you. Thank you very much, Sunilji. Thank you. It was nice talking to you and good okay. questions, which will be benefiting to the staff, I mean, teachers and the students. Thank you very much. Our sir, telecasting global opportunities.